Could I be looking way too deep into this? Totally. But hey, that's what theories are about, right? Moving on, we have the second instance of the League receiving intel of a classified location. The Vanguard Action Squad's attack during the Forest Training Arc. We don't have many indications of how they found out about this either. All they say is that our shadowy orchestrator has planned everything. Which we can assume is all for one. I'll get back to him later. But for now, I'm going to point out another small detail. So, just before the attack happens, we get two panels of the students sleeping. One for the boys, one for the girls. We see in the bottom panel that the empty sleeping bag is occupied by Hagakure due to the floating blanket and her shadow. But on the boys' side, someone has climbed out of bed, just as the League arrives. How very intriguing. These are the characters that we don't see sleeping, but I already discussed why I don't think it's anyone other than Kaminari especially out of this lot. He's the only one that could have contacted the League using his quirk without getting caught, because he would just have to get out of hearing range to contact them. Someone like Kirishima would have to walk right up to them, which we see isn't the case in the shot of the Vanguard. Now, the only contradiction to this is that the League has put Kaminari in danger multiple times. Like, Compress nearly killed him with a f***ing boulder. They did not give two shits what happened to that kid. This proposes an interesting question of where Kaminari's allegiance lies. I feel like Kaminari isn't working for the League of Villains, but rather under All for One. We've seen how many contingency plans that man has, and we know he doesn't tell the League everything. So going off my last point of the Vanguard's plan being orchestrated by All for One, perhaps Kaminari is acting as an anonymous client, providing information for All for One to pass on to the League. Why wouldn't All for One tell the League? Wouldn't he want to avoid Kaminari from getting killed? I think for the sake of Kaminari's cover, and to make sure the League doesn't screw up, he's keeping the League in the dark, and being aware of Kaminari's split personality, he knows he'll just fall in line to make himself in the dark, if that makes sense. All for One is a very charismatic man. He knows how to sweeten the deal to get people on his side. We've seen him lead an entire society before. So that just begs the question, what is Kaminari's goal? Now, this is only a one-off line, but it still stuck out to me enough to mention. It gives me a pretty good idea of what kind of villain Kaminari would be. When Stain first emerged, he did admit to him being pretty cool, which is something a lot of heroes would be caught dead saying. And once again, for the third time now, He's sweating nervously. I think Kaminari would follow the ideology of weeding out fake heroes. In the beginning of the series, I remember him distinctly saying Bakugo had a pretty insufferable personality. But over time, he's one of the first people to truly respect him and see how much he's grown into the person he is. Maybe he came to UA expecting to find the most manufactured and package dealt heroes there are, but instead, he learned to truly see how each one of them truly sticks to their convictions. But at this point, he's already committed himself to the role for far too long, and he has to stick with it. His positive and negative sides are conflicting constantly. On a side note, regarding the Redestro thing, I do think it's just him doing a pose for his move, but let's go tinfoil hat mode for a little bit and say this is an indication that he also believes in the Liberation Army's ideals. Which was a very public book by the way, so he could have read it at any time. What if the reason he's doing it with the wrong hand is because that's his split personality conflicting with his true thoughts? Eh? 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 Yeah. Yeah. Probably not, but uh, it's fun to think about. Now, as of writing this script, that bonk with the horny rock from chapter 279 leading to his lap pillow from 280 is the last time we've seen Kaminari. Despite seeing most of Class 1A in the hospital with the main trio, even characters like Saro and Sato, we don't see Kaminari anywhere. I wonder if this head injury is going to lead to anything regarding his potential personality disorder. That rock could have sent his mind all out of whack, so he might be in a hospital bed for all we know. This could be the segue we've been waiting for. But who knows really. With All for One back in the game and all these criminals on the loose, anything is possible. 